Halo. Oh, this is called a lineage of wigs. Halo. Mum combs her auburn fro up high. So high it's a halo. Everyone wants to, but cannot touch it. <laughs> Referring to the house as the whole street. Laywick Street is a three-story, four-bedroom house in Stratford. Fourteen children live there, top and tail. They're all washed, fed and prayed for by a midwife who, after another long night shift, slips her shoes off and pads into the kitchen where she hangs her wig over the ear of her chair and reaches for the sugared almonds which come in various shades of dawn. She holds each up against the window before popping into her mouth, pop and sighing. The musical box. Long before she's my mum, mum has a musical box. When she opens it with a tiny key, so tiny one can swallow it, a ballerina pops up and begins pirouetting to music like stars falling onto four posted beds. Long before he's my big cousin, David creeps into mum's room while she's at school or at the fish market before school. He's heard the stars falling from his room, the boys' room down the corridor, all heat and socks. After being rattled and prized, the box splays open, the little ballerina off kilter begins dancing for her visitor. She's pretty, prettier between his big fingers. She's like icing, which he squeezes. The stars pause mid-air. David tiptoes back down the corridor, climbs his ladder, burrows under cover. After counting to hard numbers, he peers through the bars into Mum's room, the door he left ajar, all the stars still held on the air like a gasp. The Clippers. Mum's halo of a fro lies on the red and gold carpet. The Clippers hum in Cousin Reginald's hand long after he's pressed off off with her hair, a long distance sister, ecstatic. Um, so before the next room, I should say that my mum believes fiercely in, in dreams. Uh, when we were little, we'd get sweets if we told her our dreams, because we were like innocent, so we'd be able to tell. She believes that they're prophetic. Um, so, because we were little and innocent, our hands were clean. Um, so, if we if we had a dream, she'd be like, "Hmm, your dad's going to do that, huh?" Um, so, we'd go, and, um, so it was really easy for me to work that one out. So I was like, "Wait, so I could just pick some stuff up and get sweet." So I so and we still do it like very much. So even I saw her the other day at her birthday. She was like, "I saw your dad in the bathroom. He had a dog, and it bit me." And she kind of was like a bit funny with him that day, you know? Uh, because obviously this means something terrible. He's got this secret thing and he's keeping it and it means her harm. Um, so that, that's the context for this. Um, uh, yeah, I think she's, 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 she's very, very religious, like Christian, but mixed with like African spirituality. Um, and, and that belief in dreams comes from that, definitely. Um, so you needed all that information for this poem, I think. <laughs> Seventh night. Mum said Auntie V tried to palm her cancer off. High up witches can do that, see a sickness coming and deflect it. Mum was driven to the seaside to bathe at dawn, then back to the corrugated church where she was placed shivering before the Lord, her body outlined with candles instead of chalk. For seven days and seven nights, she lay in the rain of their ceaseless prayers. 
She'd forgotten the language of her girlhood, but there, on the floor, remembered three words and repeated, Amen, Jesu, Christi. She rose only to use the bathroom and the payphone once to call her agency. I won't be available this week. I'm sorry. After the honey and holy water was sipped from an upturned bell and the last candle had crackled, pulled, the police arrived to carry mum to the altar, which was, she saw as she got closer, an operating table. I should say that in dreams, visions, parallel realities, the police are angels. The tallest wielded a scalpel, made an incision beneath her breast, and from that new smile dragged handfuls of teeth out. It took them all night, but nightmare was so bright 